The new Netflix show Squid Game is emotional, panic-inducing, and bingeable in one day. It involves a series of games for 400 players to complete. The punishment for losing? Death. In order to show you how to actually win the Squid Game, I'm going to play it myself. This is a very fast way of doing it, so pay attention. There might be heavy spoilers, but I'll try to have no spoilers. So this is the Squid Game everyone's been talking about. You all said it was impossible, but I'll show you how to win. You're going to want to sneak up behind the ghost and shoot him. See, he actually created the entire game and is posing as a contestant. Now kill this skeleton, and actually it's a bit of a plot twist, but he has a brother too. So wall jump and kill him. Remember, the cop's brother is important. I mean the corpse's brother, not cops. Then you've reached the checkpoint and are ready for game two. They say this is about making a fair and equal competition, which is why being strong and athletic help 50% of the time. Here on the wall, there is a snake. Remember to read all the drawings on the walls, they're important. See, the ghost is back, he didn't really die. If I had one main piece of advice, I'd say don't be in debt. If you are in debt, be the main character. Okay guys, I think I found the final boss of Squid Game. He looks like a nice guy, but I could trick him. I told him that we can both live if he follows my plan. I told him I'm going to give him a neck massage so that he is loose enough for the next game. I'm sorry my friend, I'm actually just going to stab you in the back. I win! I'm going to spend my prize money on red dye and nothing else.